In the movie, a girl has to bid farewell to her boyfriend and friends in her hometown as she moves into her mom's new husband's grand mansion. Upon arrival, she meets her new stepbrother who initially appears to be the perfect son, but hides a secret. The story begins with Noah packing her belongings, including a picture with her late father, as she embarks on this new chapter. On their way to the mansion, Noah and her mother, Rafaela, argue about leaving behind their old home filled with memories. Despite Rafaela's insistence that she loves her new husband and life must move forward, Noah struggles to accept the change. Upon arrival, the owner of the mansion, along with Rafaela's new husband, welcomes them warmly. While Noah tries to adapt to the new environment, she sees a young man around her age and initially ignores him. As she speaks with her best friend on the phone, a handsome young man named Nick, her stepbrother, appears and surprises her. When a pit bull confronts her, Nick calms the dog and playfully teases Noah. Despite her initial reluctance, Noah starts to develop feelings for Nick as they spend more time together. One night, the family goes out for dinner, with Noah acting rudely towards Nick, causing a rift between them. Nick eventually drops her off in the middle of the road after an argument, but she is offered a ride by Nick's friend, Mario, who informs her about a party where Nick is. Noah decides to attend the party and is introduced to Ronnie, a recently released ex-convict. She witnesses Nick's wild behavior, including kissing multiple girls, and begins to see a different side of him. Afterwards, she slaps him in the face and gets angry with him, leaving her out of nowhere. She threatens Nick by attempting to reveal who he truly is to his parents. The two argue and fight, and Nick tries to charm her, but it doesn't have an effect on her. Nick leaves, and a woman appears and talks with her, named Jenna. They chat for a while, and Jenna tells her to be careful around. While the two talk, Jenna's boyfriend appears and kisses her right away, stealing her. Ronnie sees Noah and tells his subordinate to drug her. Luckily, Nick sees it and punches him in the face. The two get out of the party, and Nick brings her home. Noah, being drugged, acts drowsy and crazy on their way home. When Noah falls asleep, she dreams of her childhood experience of physical abuse. The next morning, Noah goes straight to Nick and asks him if anything happened. Nick teases her and tells her that many things happened between them in bed. Noah walks out again, saying that her ex-boyfriend, Dan, is better than them. Later that day, Noah goes out to read beside the sea. Nick and his friends come to that spot as well. Noah irritatingly moves away from them, while Jenna sticks with her while reading a book. Noah steals glances at Nick as he changes into his surfing attire. When Nick is about to surf, some girls approach him and ask him about the race to which Nick responds, as if he doesn't know what they are talking about. Later that night, when Nick is about to start a street race, Noah arrives with Jenna. The two walking together is like slow motion for Nick, captivated by Noah's beauty. For that reason, Nick gets a slow start, his opponent having a head start. After a couple of maneuvers and drifts, Nick successfully wins the race, leaving Ronnie defeated. After the race, Noah receives a photo of Dan kissing her best friend. She gets mad and parties hard. While partying, she gets wild and kisses another man, making out with him at a distance, and tries to take a picture of them for revenge. Nick sees them and confronts them in jealousy, scaring the man away. Noah tells him that it is only for a picture. Nick then kisses her passionately, takes a picture, and sends it to the sender. While Noah is inside the car and Nick is doing his business, the car race starts. Left with no choice, Noah starts the car and drives for the race. She tries to mock Ronnie, which pisses him off, and he bumps into her. She finishes the race like a pro and defeats Ronnie. Ronnie accuses them of cheating and demands them to pay him. Nick loses his car and a sum of money because of what Noah did. Nick obediently gives Ronnie the car and the money. However, Nick bursts out in anger when he hears Ronnie mocking Noah. The two gangs fight each other, but when Nick sees Noah scared, he immediately brings them in a car and leaves the scene. One night, the three return from a family dinner. Nick arrives home as well and sees Noah on the couch watching a movie. He sits with her and talks with her. Noah then apologizes to him for what happened, but Nick tells her that it doesn't matter. The two then get enticed by each other and passionately kiss each other. Nick then stops because he realizes what they are doing is wrong. The next morning, while Noah is washing the car, she seduces Nick. However, Rafaela comes and brings Dan with her. Noah gets surprised and frustrated as well seeing him at the pool party. Noah tells Nick that they have a problem because of the photo she sent. Nick ignores the fact 
and teases her more. Dan sees her and comes at her. Noah lashes out on him and tries to walk away from him. Lion, noticing that Noah doesn't want to have contact with Dan, gets Dan and brings him with them. Nick suddenly pulls Noah into the water, and the two passionately make out again while inside the pool. Later that day, while Nick is smoking cigarettes outside a restaurant, he sees Ronnie driving his car while mocking him. He gets annoyed when they bring up his stepsister again. He gets injured and gets home. He sees Noah sleeping and approaches her. He sees a scar near Noah's belly, and Noah suddenly punches him in the face, thinking that he is Dan. Noah sees his injuries and treats him. He tells Noah to be careful because Ronnie is after her. They are about to kiss when Dan shows up, and Noah still turns him down. The next morning, Noah receives a letter from the school, but it appears to be a threat. It says in the letter, I will make you suffer. Noah gets surprised and chooses not to tell her parents about it. In the evening, Nick goes out with Noah again with their friends. Before going in, the two make out again in a corner intensely and passionately. Afterwards, they go inside the venue, which appears to be an arena for street fighting. Noah stops Nick because she has a childhood trauma. However, Nick continues to fight and destroys his opponent. Noah leaves because she can't handle too much fighting. Mario follows her and consoles her. He expresses his love for Noah and kisses her. Nick sees it and pushes him away and leaves. Noah gets angry and pushes Nick away. Nick tells her that it is the first time he has felt jealous. However, Noah informs him that she is scared of Nick and does not want a violent person in her life. The two go their separate ways and continue on with their lives, but they cannot deny the fact that they are already in love with each other. Will tells Nick something about Noah. He reveals that her father tried to kill her with a knife when she was a child. Will explains that both of them experienced physical abuse in the past. Rafaela also tells them that Noah's father might come back. Nick is confused and asks how Noah's father could come back if he is dead. Will informs him that her father is actually in prison and recently got out. He wants to hurt her because she was the witness that convicted him. During a party that night, Nick tries to call Noah but she declines. He attempts to inform them about Noah's father but does not get the chance to reach them. Noah's father is about to capture them, but fortunately, Nick appears. Noah refuses to go with him and goes back inside the party. Noah is looking for her blazer, and Anna tells her it's in the closet. Anna pushes Noah inside the closet while looking for it and makes fun of her. This reminds Noah of her past and she gets scared. Nick and Jenna come to save her. When they get home, Noah and Nick cuddle. Nick tries to open up about Noah's father but she falls asleep. When they wake up, Will suddenly appears and spots them naked in bed. Will ignores the situation and informs Nick about his half-sister Maggie, who is in the hospital. They rush to the hospital to check on her. Nick introduces Noah to Maggie. On the way home, they confess their love for each other and end up in an isolated place, where they have a passionate encounter near the beach until sunrise. They run out of protection so Nick buys some at a convenience store nearby. Unfortunately, Ronnie enters the car and kidnaps Noah with his men. Nick and their parents take action and inform the authorities. Meanwhile, Noah tries to escape, but is surprised when her dad, Jonas, shows up. She is scared and speechless. Jonas contacts Rafaela and demands a million from them. He tells them to bring the money to a meeting place with no police around. However, Jonas does not show up and sets up cameras. While waiting, Nick realizes that he has an insurance tracker on his car. Jonas hears this and becomes alarmed. They quickly go to their location and see Noah in the driver's seat, with Jonas sitting next to her, holding a gun. Nick follows them in a street race, while Jonas shoots at them. Afterward, Jonas talks to his daughter and blames them for his career's downfall. The police block all the escape routes, pushing Noah and her father to the edge. Noah and Nick have a face-to-face -face encounter exchanging a meaningful glance before driving towards each other in circles. Eventually, Jonas is shot by Noah and their parents arrive at the scene. Ron is also arrested by the police. Despite the chaos, Noah and Nick express their love for each other while their parents express anxiety about their illicit relationship.